Hi everybody, Pastor Deb here again, out in the urban sanctuary. A couple more uh, things I want to share with you out, outside this week. The other day when I was talking, uh, some of you might have noticed my attention was drawn to something and I had to keep looking back at the camera. And not long after that I mentioned animals dying in our garden. Um, it was a shock to me mm, probably about a week ago, maybe not that long, four or five days ago, and I still, yeah, it's still a shock <laughs> to find in the framework of one of my chairs was the skeleton of a little bird. And um, Eileen said to me, yes, yeah, she, she had seen a hawk around here. And uh, so I'm wondering, you know, if the hawk got it, dropped it, and it fell and got wedged into that, or if a cat got it. We have some fair isle cats around here. <clears throat> Whatever it was, it was unnerving and upsetting, and, you know, I just want the kumbaya world uh, that isn't there. But it was interesting because as I was recording, I looked over there uh, to where I was going to talk next about the, um, the ornamental grasses, and I saw this thing that the more I looked at it, the more it looked like the shape of a bunny or uh, a, a bird with its bill sticking up that was also dead. I looked, it wasn't moving, it wasn't breathing. And so that upset me. So I had to gird up my courage and walk over there. Didn't want to. Bent down, looked at it, and it turned out it was paper. It was paper that's been outside, looks like uh, Dunkin' Donuts, something or other. Uh, where we live is, uh, I don't know how to describe it except to say there's a wind tunnel because across the street is a long building, it's a factory. And it's a long building that runs a good block. And so the wind comes up here and we're near the railroad tracks and the public market. And so the wind comes like, pouring down there, and we always have trash and litter to pick up on our yard. Even if people don't drop it here, they could drop it, you know, three blocks away and it would end up down here. Um, and so that's probably where something like this came from. But as I realized what it was, and I bent down ever so gingerly to pick it up, I got to thinking about all the times in my life when I've been dreading or fearful of something that wasn't. In this case, I thought it was a dead animal. I was going to have to get out the shovel and dig a hole and bury it and say a little prayer. And Well, I don't mind doing that. It's not the most pleasant thing in the world, right? Um, and then I got there and found that it wasn't any of those things at all. It was paper. It was litter. Something someone had thrown away that had dried up in the rain and changed its original shape and no longer functional for what it was made, but um, it wasn't what I thought it was. And so here I was dreading and a little frightened and unnerved and anxious about something that didn't even exist. And boy, that hit me in the, you know, palm to the head moment of how often do I do that with other things in life? I dread them. I put them off. I don't want to make that phone call. Maybe it's as simple as I don't want to clean up the kitchen. And then when I do, it took all of like five minutes or six minutes. And I've been dreading it for a day. Do you do that? I have a feeling most people do. Uh, about some things I've gotten really good. If an idea occurs to me, then boom, I usually go and do it right then, <laughs> which is a little... Uh, ricocheting for Eileen who hasn't lived with that before but um, seriously aside from that I think most of us try to avoid the things we don't like and we worry about them or at least they're in the back of our heads and then we know we can't hurry them along even if it's something that we want like an upcoming surgery where we know we're going to feel better we don't really want to go through that there's the dread of going through that and knowing what the recovery is going to be like and yet Many, many times, what we are fearing is not what it is at all. And when we get close enough to it and deal with it, we find that out. And then I feel kind of silly. 
looking at a piece of paper and thinking it was a dead animal. So, what's the lesson in that for us? I wish I could say I won't jump to conclusions anymore. <laughs> Um, I won't look at something and get it wrong, but I know I'm going to. So maybe it's that I don't need to put it off as long. I don't need to put off dealing with it as long. Because it's never going to be as bad as I think it is. I won't say never. Rarely will it be as bad as I think it is. And on those occasions when it is, well then, to go back to another day this week, we have the living water and we have things around to comfort us, like mugs. And we have, you know, people in our lives who will uphold us. And always, 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 there is the risen Christ. So, lesson that I have today, it's only litter that didn't get thrown away. I don't need to be anxious. Neither do you. Thanks for joining me today for this prayerful pause of the pastor. I hope it's given you something to think about in these few moments. And until next time, God bless, take care, and bye for now.